Lab view will send the XML file through TCP, uh, and the XML file will be like this. And uh, the XML file will be transmitted through MERS stored in the database, and uh, the database uh, using MySQL. And here, the database we created uh, is called patient, and here it ha has two tables. The first table is patient details. Here, the patient details stores patient information including patient ID, given name, surname, sex, and those patient information. And uh, also, the XM form, uh, the, the data in XML will be stored in another table called the patient status. And uh, in the table, we have patient ID, time, description, sensor ID, sensor location, sampling rates, number of sensors, and uh, it can store maximum to seven sensors. Here we have two sensors, so the, the data for the two sensors are stored here. 